This last video will deal with consecutive integer problems. The idea of consecutive integers is one number right after another. Like look at these. 1, 2, 3 are consecutive integers. So are 5, 6, 7, etc. One number followed immediately by the next number. What separates these consecutive integers is a step of 1. To get from 5 up to 6, we would add 1. To get from 6 up to 7, we would add 1. That's why the algebraic expression for consecutive integers is this. We always let the first integer be x, and then we denote the second integer by just adding 1 to that x. Now, if we add 1 to this, x plus 1 plus 1 really gets me up to x plus 2, which means the next one, if I need to go all the way up to the fourth consecutive integer, would be x plus 3, and so on. Consecutive even integers are separated by 2. To get from 2 up to 4, I would need to add 2. To get from 4 up to 6, I would need to add 2. So the algebraic setup on those is x for the first, x plus 2 for the next, x plus 4, x plus 6 if necessary, etc. The consecutive odd integer setup is exactly the same way. To get from 1 up to 3, we'd have to add 2. To get from 3 up to 5, we'd have to add 2. So it may bother you that consecutive odd integers have this x and then x plus 2, because 2 is even. But think about this. If these are consecutive odd integers, that means their first number is odd. So let's say the first number is 11. If I add 2 to that, it's going to bump up to 13. If I add 2 to that, it's going to bump up to 15, etc. So as long as the first number is odd, if I keep this configuration, I'm still going to generate odd numbers. And those are the expressions we're going to use when we set up these problems. So this says the sum of three consecutive integers is 228. Find the integers. We need to name the variables. Because it says three consecutive integers, I wrote down first integer, second integer, third integer. They are just consecutive integers. That means we're adding 1 to get the next one. So let x be the first integer. To get the next consecutive integer, I would add 1. To get the next one after that, I would add 1 here, which brings me up to x plus 2. And it says the sum of those. Well, sum just means add all that up. So add all that up gives you 3x plus 3 equals 228. So we get down to a very easy two-step equation. Subtract 3 from both sides and we have 3x equals 225. Divide both sides by 3, and x equals 75. Now you're not finished with just finding x, which you were asked in the problem is to find the integers, find all of them. Very easy to find them. If x is 75, put 75 right here, 75 plus 1 is 76. Put 75 right here, 75 plus 2 is 77, and those are my three consecutive integers, and if you add those up, they will add to 228. Similar problem, but now it says find three consecutive odd integers. The only difference is in this setup right here. The first integer is still x, but if we're talking about an odd setup, then it's going to be x plus 2. To get the next integer after that will be x plus 4. And we're still looking for the sum, so add all those up. would give me 3x plus 6 equals 327. Simple equation to solve. Subtract 6 from both sides. And we have 3x equals 321, divide both sides by 3, and x is 107. But again, that's just my x. I've got to plug back in here. 107, add 2 to that, brings me to 109. The next consecutive odd from there is 111. And if you add those up, you will get 327. Now this is a little different. It says the sum of the second and the fourth of four consecutive integers is 110. So we're not going to be adding all of those up, but because we're talking about four consecutive integers, I have written down first integer, second integer, third integer, and now the fourth integer. The first integer is always going to be x. Because these are just consecutive integers, that means I'm adding 1 to get the next one. Add 1 to that, which would be x plus 2. Add 1 to that, which makes x plus 3. It is not add them all up, because it's not the total sum. It's just the sum of the second and the fourth is going to give me 110. So my expression for the second integer is x plus 1. My expression for the fourth integer is x plus 3. Add those up, and we get 110. So combine your like terms here is 2x plus 4 equals 110. Simple two-step equation. Subtract 4 from both sides. 
and we have 2x equals 106 divided by 2 and x equals 53. Now it's asking me to find all four integers, so I got to go back up into here. x is 53, put 53 in here, makes 54 the next one, and of course 55 is the one after that, followed by 56. And we can check that by adding the second and the fourth, these two that are checked, 54 plus 56 does equal 110. One more thing I want to go over, even though I didn't make up an example like this on your worksheet. This was back number 14, the sum of three consecutive odd integers is 327. This would have been the exact same setup had this said the sum of three consecutive even integers is 327. No matter what it says, odd or even, the setup is the same. So pretend this had said the sum of three consecutive even integers is, of course it couldn't be 327 because I would be adding up three even numbers. Pretend it said 326. So I would have the exact same setup here, but this would equal 326. I just want you aware whether it says odd or even, it's the exact same setup. x, x plus 2, x plus 4, and then do whatever it says. Add them all up like this one said, or this next one had this relationship between like the second and the fourth. So consecutive integers, x, x plus 1, x plus 2, etc consecutive odd or consecutive even, it's the exact same setup, x, x plus 2, x plus 4, etc. So getting the variables named correctly is the most important step, and then you just follow what it says to do equation-wise.